Three budget-friendly designs that deliver. Yeah, that's it. Let's get into it. What's going on? I'm Bobby K. I'm a professional landscape designer and general contractor, and I want to help you make your yard look awesome. So we're going to get into three designs that are budget friendly, low maintenance, and they're all different. They've all got really cool ideas. But before we do, I would say that 90% of you that watch this video are unsubscribed, and I'm not feeling the love. And can we just smash, like lightly hit the like button? Let me know you're out there, and if you want to subscribe, Heck yeah, let's join. Now, let's get right into it. Okay, the first location we are going to is in Calgary, Canada. And I don't get to design out in Canada very often, so I was very excited about this. Here's the thing though, when you're going to Calgary or Canada, and even if you're not there and you're in the USA, it's cold, right? So if you get that seasonal thing, which 90% of anybody in the USA, Canada, wherever is gonna get, you've gotta strategically plant. So before we get into that, let's talk about what's going on. We've got a pretty blank canvas, if you will. The deck's not finished, there's no lawn, there's no landscape, and there's no nothing, right? The only request I had from this client was, we do not want grass. And I'm like, oh man, <laughs> that's really hard to do because when you got a decent sized area, how do you make it look good without grass like softening? You're gonna have some huge beds, right? So we're gonna get clever on that. Before we do, let's talk about that deck. We wanna finish it. We want to stain it. I love a timberwood oil, any kind of sealer, anything that's gonna make it look really cool. Maybe a lighter color up top and a darker here. And then they wanted privacy. So putting almost a privacy wall with some decorative metal screening in front of that is a really cool way to make it pop. Then you throw some planters in front of it. You've got the evergreen look. So now you've got privacy. You've got the zen-like vibe. You've got your furniture with the fire pit and you can hang and now look out at your desolate bare yard. No, of course, we're going to fix that right now. So here's what you do. If you don't want grass, which is not the easiest thing in the world to do, I like to combine a decorative gravel and mulch and not just mulch the whole thing or rock the whole thing. I think the combination of the two is the key. So after putting in a beautiful paver hardscape walkway, that's your transition to the door and off to the side and down to the back, I wanted to frame in the area and I went linear to give that more modern zen-like vibe for this home. I think it fits well, especially with the deck. So we've got Mexican beach pebbles or you can use a different rock. Mexican beach pebbles are expensive along the hardscaping that is picture framing out the planting area, which is gonna be mulch. So you've got the pavers, You've got the decorative stone and you've got the mulch. Now we got something to look at, but then we need to plant. So with zone three, it's a lot of evergreens, junipers, pines, things that are hardy, kind of the wood vibe, and that's what you're gonna go with. We've got a white pine, we've got a Colorado spruce, We've got a scotch pine tree in the back. It's got the multiple arms, kind of a focal point back there. And of course, we've got some green mound uh, boxwoods, some green mound bushes. We've got nine bark, uh, lilac. That's gonna offer a little bit of color. So not everything is green all the time, but this is one of those designs where planting is super important because you gotta pay attention to the zone that you're in. So we went from before to after to lighting up the investment and bam, this thing is pretty awesome. All right, next one, we're going out to Chesterfield, Missouri. So this is a, a, a like a little suburb of St. Louis. Just say St. Louis, Missouri, right? So here's what's going on. This is a pretty blank canvas, if you will, and there's a couple hodgepodgey elements going on. So the first thing is paying attention to the architecture, I think is kind of crucial here. They've got this upper level like balcony with these almost like dog ear, kind of white, just desolate. They're, they've been there forever, right? Wood planks. I wanna clean that up. So putting some nice new wood there, could do a nice new railing, but just to kind of soften it and do something cost effective, like cheap, I would say getting rid of those, painting something white, and then refacing that is crucial. But here's the design thing. Now to create privacy from the back and a gate and a transition, because that was important to this client, we also do a white vinyl fence that connects from the house over. So you got the white and the white. Now this thing is starting to look a little bit more updated. And to add to the privacy, we wanted to start on the left-hand side of this design and put in some arborvitaes just to green it up, have that seasonal interest. All year it's gonna look good over there. So you've got the white fence 
and the Arborvitaes. Now we've got privacy going on. And then finally, let's get some curves in there. Let's get some boulders in there, some different seasonal plants. We've got some red twig dogwoods. We have some green velvet boxwood. We've got a lilac tree. We're playing with heights and textures and seasonal interest all at the same time while having these curvy beds. So you've got a crimson queen Japanese maple, a lilac, the dogwood, the evergreens of the boxwoods. Now we've got January through December. I'd say this thing is covered and it goes from boring to bam in about two seconds. And this is something that anybody can do. All you're doing is carving out the beds, doing some planting. I'd say all in for something like this, doing it yourself, you're under three grand, all in. Pretty darn cost effective. Finally, we're going to Branson, Missouri. And if you know the show Ozark, this is where this was. Although they filmed it in Georgia, a little tidbit for you. But either way, Branson is a little bit more rural in some spots. And I think that's exactly what's going on here. So let's talk about this house. Essentially what we're gonna be designing is the area in front of the garage. It's just grass and then it's got this almost gully where a lot of drainage goes through. So how do you tackle something like that? And how do you do it on a budget. How do you do this as cost effectively as possible? Now here's the thing, when you start getting into hardscaping, you start getting into paper patios and walkways and retaining walls and all the things that are hard materials, hardscaping, that's when cost starts to get going. But when you have a drainage problem here or basically this like gully where all the water's coming through, I think it's very important to retain your landscaping. I think if we were to cut in a natural curve, it's a possibility here, but putting a one high retaining wall is not only gonna add curb appeal and it's not gonna be a ton of cost, but it's going to for sure retain all the landscaping in these beds. So the first thing is we put in a retaining wall and then I wanna define that actual drainage space by doing some decorative gravel in there, some bigger gravel and then edging it, putting some edging on there so it's separating the grass from the gravel area. Now when that water comes through, it can easily go through rock, which has all kinds of different shapes and water will go right through there. But now it's cleaned up and you don't have to worry about cutting down in this when it's a soppy mess. It's never gonna be like that. So we've got the wall, we've got the drainage, and then we're just doing some simple landscaping, seasonal landscaping. We've got some evergreens, we've got a lilac as the middle, splitting those windows. That's like your focal point of the side. And then we've got some nandinas, some wajila wine and roses, and then we've got some red twig dogwoods, but this is actually looking more of a, a, a neon yellow in this particular design, but it's the same thing. The point is we've got seasonal interest, we've retained the area, and we address that water issue. So if you have water issues or you have a bed where it's elevated and you're worried about it going, it might be time to put in a small wall. All in, I would save this cost under three grand again not too terrible. Like this is a way, as you're coming up the driveway, bam, you get hit with this beautiful curb appeal or otherwise it was just kind of a garage, right? If you like this kind of stuff, smash this. Let me know, throw a comment down there. Let's get the algorithm going. This is how I know what's up, right? And if you wanna watch more, go check out this one. This is a great video. I got three more designs for you. This is Bobby K saying creation is everything, so go out and create. I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.